chocolate, light light whisper of a summer breeze. That is silk. It is hard to believe that something so wonderful is obtained from an insect. Yes, silk is obtained from an insect, especially a moth. Do you remember how wool is made? From hair of some animals, right? So can silk also be made in a similar way? That is from the hair of some insect? Of course not. Imagine shaving insects. Is that even possible? So let's try to understand how silk is produced. For that, we will first have to look at all the stages of the life of a moth and that is its life cycle. The female silk moth lays eggs. When the eggs hatch, a tiny caterpillar crawls out. This is the silkworm or larva you can say. The silkworm feeds on leaves and grows. Now, when it is ready to enter the next stage in the life cycle, it first weaves a net to hold itself. It then secretes a thread-like fiber made of protein, which hardens on exposure to air. Now, it covers itself completely with this long single fiber and this covering is known as cocoon. At this stage, the larva is called a pupa. Now, the pupa grows and changes inside the cocoon. A few weeks later, the cocoon opens and an adult moth comes out. This moth lays eggs and the cycle starts again. Are you wondering, where is the silk in the cycle? Okay, try to recollect. What was the cocoon made up of? A single continuous thread, right? Do you know that this thread can be as long as one kilometer? Yes. This thread, or you can say the cocoon, is used to produce silk fibers. This fiber is extremely thin, even thinner than your hair. But it doesn't break easily as it is strong as steel. But we have a problem though. Do you know how small a cocoon is? About the size of a grape. To produce one kilogram of silk, we need 3,000 such cocoons. Do you know how much silk India produces? It is 70 million kilograms. That is a 70 with six zeros. Do you know how much that is? It is equal to the weight of about 13,000 elephants. Huge, right? Can you calculate how many cocoons we will need to produce that much of silk? Okay, for one kg of silk, we need 3,000 cocoons. Then for 70 million kg, which is 7 crore kgs, for that we will require 21,000 crores of cocoons. Do you think these many cocoons are available in the forest? Find that out in our coming lesson.